Okay. Um, this is in response to the question: Is um, would you give us a brief summary of when the individual songs on Neandra and Smile were recorded? Unfortunately, I don't have a copy of Smile sitting around here, and um, but as Neandra. Um, as Can Be was written while we were in the house where we recorded Blood Sugar Sex Magic and recorded um, probably on a weekend when I went back to my house while while because uh, we didn't work on weekends. Um, my Smiles of Rifle was while we were uh, that was while we were writing the record. Head uh, Beach Arab was written when I was uh, 16 years old and it was originally written as a heavy metal song and uh, I did the version of it that I did on Neandra um, just went a different direction with it um, that that was also recorded probably pretty early on in the writing process of Blood Sugar Big Takeover was also recorded during the writing Curtains was at that time, my only song I had written on piano, and that was written during the writing of it. Running Away Into You was recorded after I had quit the band. Um, I think it's it might be the only song that was the, on this album that was recorded after I quit the band. Um, I had only... I, I I probably recorded it about a month after I quit or something. Um, mascara was while we were writing, and the the day after I recorded that song, I met uh, the Mascara Snake from Captain Beefheart and the Magic Band, and I think that's why I called it Mascara. Um, I felt that there was some kind of connection between the the experience of meeting him and the lyrics to the song. Uh, Been Insane was recorded during the writing of it. Skin Blues was recorded during the writing of it. Your Pussy's Glued to a Building on Fire was written at the house where we recorded Blood Sugar Sex Magic and recorded on a weekend when I when I went back to my house. Um, Blood on My Neck from Success was just before I quit the band and the lyrics were... Um, pretty much um, a sort of an assault on uh, on our manager, Lindy Getz, <laughs> at the time. He's a real nice guy. I don't mean anything bad to him, but um, but at the time I felt like I was, you know, like I was being uh, pushed around and told what to do and that it was, that my, that my uh, relationship with my art was suffering from this, uh, drive to be successful by everybody else. Um, Tender Butter Blood Voodoo um, is, uh, was recorded during the writing of it and I was, uh, I seem to remember being pretty happy at that time. I believe that uh, I was, I remember being on heroin when I played the guitar solo. <laughs> um, usually just a t-shirt was recorded in the order that it appears um, on the record. So uh, the the earliest things on it r were recorded during you know during the writing process of Blood Sugar, and the last things recorded on it were just before I quit the band, um, and. I always uh, I think it's interesting in that you can you can hear the um, the decline that I was going on inside. Uh, I think that those last two songs on it are the best songs on the record, but at the same time, uh, you know it's very sad because um, I, I I I hear when I hear it that it sounds like a person falling apart or it sounds like somebody about to kill themselves or something it 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 uh those songs for, are um sad for the same reason that they're good so um i'm i'm proud that i went through it and i'm proud that uh
that those songs are what they are. I think um, the I I would say that that last song I didn't know at the time I thought of it as the direction that I thought my music could go uh, outside of the band if I hadn't stopped playing music at that point. Um, and if a close friend of mine who played the upright bass hadn't died. Uh, all the songs on Neon to the Desk were all recorded in my living room at 8505 Hollywood Boulevard at Hollywood Boulevard and Kings Road in the hills. Um, yeah, everything, everything was recorded in the living room. The film that, this is in response to the question, is there any way we could see the film by Tony Oswald about you, the one from which the cover of Neander Ledes is taken? Could you tell us about it? Um, she definitely finished the film just recently. Uh, and it had remained unedited for a long time, but it was made at that period of time, around 1992, I guess, um, or 93, and um, I guess 92. And, and... Uh, it's a um, it's a film inspired by the ideas of Marcel Duchamp that she she was with me when we were touring in Europe for Blood Sugar Sex Magic and I guess I was sitting there doing a lot of thinking and she was always writing in her notebook and she was coming up with this idea for this movie and so I was playing Marcel Duchamp's alter ego um, Rose Salavi as well as um, as well as somebody who pushes her out of a door with another friend of mine. Um, the film was just shown recently at the Viper Room. Um, they had a film night and they showed that. And um, I don't know if there will ever be any sort of a release of it or anything. Um, see, this is in response. <clears throat> This is in response to the question. Uh, what bottle do you carry around during all the Funky Monks video, and why do you brush your teeth so much? Um, that that period of my life, which was the happiest time that I'd experienced up to that point when we lived at that house, uh, it was the first time in my life I'd ever brushed my teeth as much as I did then. Um, I should have continued doing it um, after that, but that was that was probably the only time in my life I really obsessed on brushing my teeth. And I highly recommend brushing your teeth to anybody. Um, it's the best thing to do, and you'll you'll inevitably regret it if you don't. And um, the bottle I would carry around all the time is. Um, I used to drink a lot of um, coconut and pineapple juice, I think by Knutson's, and I also used to drink, uh, I guess that that's the taste that I associate with that period of time of making uh, blood sugar sex magic was drinking that coconut pineapple juice all the time. Um, and uh, what else would I drink? I guess, you know, I would drink like cranberry juice. Oh, and there was also... She used to buy this pineapple coconut um, banana juice that was also good. Or no, just maybe pineapple banana. And um, 